guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Making with the Manufacturers. So last week we did Bella Boulevard. So next is Bo Bunny. So let's pull out my Bo Bunny. Not a whole lot of it, but this is the Bo Bunny that I own. So this is a Christmas paper on this side. Doesn't necessarily have to be Christmas. Very orange and uh, stripey bits. Ampersands, old time cameras and dots. So this is gonna be, this is gonna be something guys. So let's see what I can do. All right guys, so spoiler alert. I am going to use all of these papers together except for the ampersand paper. Uh, even though they don't really go together. Um, they aren't coordinating papers from the same collection. They're not even from the same holiday. Like this blue paper right here is a Christmas paper and it's got snowflakes on it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to use them all and hopefully you will like the layout. I, I love the layout. I think it is uh, bright and fun and it's gonna go in my business album. So that makes me super happy. So of course, I'm going to have to washi the back of this layout since I went ahead and gutted the paper. Um, I needed more of these colors on the layout uh, and I felt like the best way to tie it all together was to have the bright red and orangey color on the outside of the layout, kind of hugging it and keeping it all contained together, and then having it on the inside of the layout as well. And you know, I can't abide uh, papers on the back of my layouts or brad tines or anything else like that uh, that could uh, get torn, ripped, poked through anything while I'm sliding my layouts in and out of their page protectors. So. I go ahead and cut down the camera paper and I cut down the other paper that I used in the background and that is going to go ahead and uh, be the meat of the layout. I'm kind of ignoring the fact that there are snowflakes uh, pre-printed on the blue and brown paper in the background. Um, I'm just ignoring it and you guys should ignore it too. Um, I actually don't really see it a whole lot anymore when the layout's finished. I don't go, oh man, there's snowflakes on there. Like it doesn't, it doesn't even register. So I'm not too concerned about it. I had to pull in an extra piece of paper because I felt like I needed some sort of break uh, between my photo and the uh, purpley, yellowy, reddy, orangey colors up at the top. I'm going to grab this khaki and white polka dotted uh, tape here and I'm going to spread it across the layout here. So now I have vertical elements and I have horizontal elements. And now I just need to figure out what the heck else I'm going to do to this layout because there it is. Now I know what my title was going to be. Um, I actually saw the photo and knew immediately what my title was going to be. It was going to be Maker. Um, because that, if you can't really tell, that is an egg that I cut out of acrylic with my laser, uh, and it was on the website for Easter. I honestly don't know if there's still any on the website. I don't know. Uh, but the, um, the title was going to be Maker, and I'm using these horrible, horrible, horrible foam alphabets. They're ridiculously difficult to get off of the packaging. It kind of stretches them out, but you know, I'm using them. Um, this is one of those times where if, if it caused me much more stress than it does, I would just ditch them and toss them in the bin, but they're not causing me so much stress that I don't like them when I use them. Um, if I hated them when I use them, straight in the bin they would go, because that would be... Um, why would I want to keep stuff that makes me miserable? So I'm having a hard time putting this gold uh, kind of doily bannery thing down. Uh, ultimately, it goes down here at the bottom of the layout. And then I am going to put these two little triangles up here. One says goals, one says yay. 
And then I'm just going through and trying to figure out where I want to put things. Now, I totally wanted this little camera to go on this layout somewhere because I felt like the colors were good for it. Um, and I had cameras in the background, but I just could not find a place where I, I felt like it looked decent. So that goes right back in. I decided to add in this pink hello. I cut off the little speech bubble portion so it's more of an oval. And I'm tucking it down so now my layout is hello maker um, instead of just maker. Um, and that's fine. Like that doesn't bother me. There is the word hello all over products, all over everywhere. And I have a bajillion layouts that are hello whatever. And that doesn't bother me. I know it bothers some people, but honestly, doesn't. I don't care. Um, so I have this metallic arrow that's over here above my photo. Uh, and then I'm going to add that little fishtail banner up at the top. And now I need to figure out what else I'm going to add to this arrow. Because now I just have this metallic arrow up at the top that is kind of like, well, bam, here I am. So I grab some enamel dots. I grab it in the purple color um, just to bring out the little bits of purple that are in that background. And I'm going to put them around the page so that the purple is everywhere on the page instead of just over on the left-hand side. And then that is going to do it for this layout, you guys. Like I said, a bunch of papers that have no business being together are together, and I love it. And that's what matters. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you again real soon for another video.